working with Diao you Diao <laughs> with the, with the yeah. Okay. And we got it up. What's up, YouTube? We back with another video. This is your boy Greg with DIY with the wrist. Yes, sir. I told y'all on the last video, I was gonna give y'all a little update on my partner Titus CTN Bill, man. Y'all remember on the last video, man? We went to the junkyard, we pulled the motor, man, and uh kind of want to show y'all, man, what we ran into. We ran into some problems so we got the motor back man we start we put everything together put the transmission and everything in we we had got a lot of rain we had got a lot of rain so this this was this was on us man this was on us we covered it up as y'all see we got some tarps and everything we covered it up we covered the motor up real good and uh we had the we had the top of the motor the uh, intake and everything off the motor so we thought we had it covered up real good, man. So we came back, man, after this just storm for like a week. You know what I'm saying? It stormed for like a week, man. We came back and uh, got ready to put it in, got ready to put the motor in the truck. I'm coming the torque converter. The torque converter and everything. Uh, try to get that back on. And the motor would not spin. So we were scratching our heads, man. But oh, let me show y'all the, the, the aftermath of the motor. All right. All right, man. So we gonna try to bring this back to life, man. Uh, we gonna try to bring it back to life, man. So this motor, man, got plastic on it and everything. So got rust in the cylinders and everything, man. So we gonna try to see if we can get this motor, get them cylinders cleaned out so we can spin this thing. So maybe we can build this motor back up, man. But, uh, you know, that's where we at, man. So, take you out to the truck, man, to the CT. So this is my partner, Titus. This is CT. So as y'all see, man, we got the new motor in. Right now, man, we button it up, man. We just buttoning it up, man. We hopefully, hopefully, you know, we gonna be able to get this thing running, man, today. I wanna hear this thing run today. So we got transmission fluid in it. We got we got an oil in it and everything. We're gonna go get the cooling and everything today. We're gonna make transmission lines to run. Man, on listen. Y'all remember on my last on my last video about my truck, about these um these fittings, and I said they they didn't want to screw on. They did. They do screw on. They do screw on. So if y'all get the ones from ICT Billet, those do screw on. Um man, I guess it was just our radiators, cause his radiator I was able to screw it on by hand. So I guess it was just the thread, and we got the exact same radiator. So so um I just did it by hand. I just ain't want to take the chance, but. On here, it, it screwed our in. So that's what we got today, man. So we're gonna try to plumb this thing, man. Get it ready, and hopefully, we can fire up, man. All right, we'll be back. Just, it's a little different from mine. See how I got his? All right, so, of course, that's the, that's the hose. That's the return hose. But on his, we used the factory Silverado that we got the motor out of. And I was able to make that work and it, you know you just have to route it around this way instead of up and under like the one on, on that one I had so save him a little money man because we had this hose and I was able to kind of bend it you know get it bent the way I needed it and um, shoot man it worked out so we got that power steering together so we're going to get this we're going to get this transmission lines in and um, also man on this on this truck here on this one what, what year this truck is T? 1984 Chevy Silverado. So this is 84. So on this on this truck, man, the problem we we ran into an issue on this truck. So on mine, I'm using 
I'm using headers on mine, but we using stock manifolds. So down here, which I'll probably get down there and let y'all see it. But um, down there, we gonna have to notch the frame. So so on some of these, if you're gonna if you're gonna use the stock manifolds like we doing, you might have to do a little modification to the frame. So when I get down there, man, I'll show y'all what we got. All right, all right, gang, man, we've been plugging away at it, man. All right, so we we got the manifold on. We got the car packs on, wires on, intake. We got the intake in, everything plumb. We got the fuel line ran. All our vacuums. It's, all our vacuums is done. We're gonna have to put a blockout plate for the EGR valve. We put on um, all the fluids in. We got power steering fluid in, we got radiator fluid in, we got oil, we got transmission fluid in. Man, we have been getting it in. Right now we see we got the wire harness. I'm going to start laying the wire harness out. Um, so, everything, man, everything's coming along, man. Everything's coming along. I got to get down there, I got to put the, um, I just took the old starter. Just took the old starter on off, found the trigger wire for the starter. Uh, I pushed all that down up under there. We're gonna get the starter on, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start mocking this on um, this harness up. And because I gotta get you got a uh, your crank position sensor that's on this side of the motor right there, I gotta get that plugged in because if you put that starter on before plugging it in, you will not be able to, um, to plug that in. So man, it is coming along, man. It is coming together, man. We got all the water holes. All the water holes is set up. Everything is plumbed and ready to go. We still gotta get a, a belt. And um shoot man. What you think, Mr. Todd? Good. We getting there. We getting there, man. We getting there. We getting there. So I still gotta um they gotta take the bats off of that off his ECU, so I'm gonna take that home today. And uh, I'll probably go ahead and work on that. But uh, yeah, man, we coming, we coming. All right, gang. So I got my partner Titus ECU. We're gonna try to go ahead on and on. Um, See if we can go ahead on and on tune this thing, man. I already got the tune rolled up. Alright gang, man we this is a whole nother day man. I'm back by myself, man. My partner he my partner Todd is here at work. Man, we have we've been having all type of problems with this motor man. This swap man, it been it been uh. anyway man, let me kinda show y'all where we at man, where we at up on my partner's tire C10 swap. Alright. Last last time last time I was over here man, we we tried to crank it. And um I'm gonna basically show you what problem we had. Alright. Alright, gang. So let me show y'all what we ran into. Alright, so I'm gonna put the power, put the power on here. Power battery in. And this right here is our ignition switch for the ECU, right? Alright. So this is what happened last time. Now, let's see. I don't think we got no gas in it, but what was happening, it was leaking, gang. 
see if we can get it to do it. See if we can get some pressure. Oh, we got a list some. So, what was happening, man? So we got pressure now, but what was happening? We was leaking. So y'all were leaking. We were leaking, and I feel filter regulator. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put some clamps on them, dude. Cause those are push lock, but for some reason, um. This line that we use is for some reason they holding the pressure. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, get back with you. There it is, gang. That's what I was talking about. That pressure built up and boom. <sighs> All right, so first thing we're gonna do, man, we're gonna fix them lines and uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, gang. So I got the um, fuel lines done, man. And I show y'all what I use. I just used the uh, fuel injection clamp to put on that. Man, make sure, um, you know, make sure, man, when y'all uh, when you get your your hoses for your um for your um, fuel lines and all that stuff, man. Make sure you get some good, you know, some good hoses, man. That's um. You know, uh, these hoses here, they look the good, man. You know, wrong about the average price, but nah, they 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 want the greatest hoses. A little, uh, little different from the ones that I got on my on my C10, but make sure you get you some quality hoses. Um, we won't, probably won't have to deal with this, but um, so far, man, put the clamps on. Let's see, it should hold pressure, man. All right. So far, it's looking like it's holding pressure. We gonna uh, see what she do, man. I'm gonna uh, try to see if I can crank her, man. See what she do. So I'll uh, I'll get back with y'all, man. I'm gonna try to sit, do this and set this up where it'll work. So I can go in and in the ignition and uh, crank it over by the switch. All right. All right, gang. Go ahead and see what it do, man. Hmm. That don't sound good, gang. I can't get no. I can't get no spark. Can't get no spark. Gang, let me uh, finish looking at this and see what the deal is, man. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, gang, something is terribly, is going terribly wrong. All right, so this wine harness, man, it, it didn't, didn't come tagged. So I'm having to go through and pretty much, I know where pretty much everything go to. But the injectors, you know, y'all look at these. We had to get adapters for these because you know it's the wrong type, but that ain't no issue. So we got adapters for them. But the thing is, none of these were labeled. So trying to figure out the firing order on these injectors because as you know if that don't fire right it's not gonna work right so I got my little tool here man I'm, I'm gonna check my spark make sure I'm getting spark on all of them on all um, eight of my cars I still got my car connector connected right there 
So I'm gonna see if I'm getting spark. I'm getting spark. I know my fuel pump is working because I'm, I'm getting the right pressure and everything. So I know my fuel pump is working. So first thing I'm gonna do is check spark. Then I'm gonna check and see if I'm getting anything on. I'm getting a pulse on the um, injectors. So yeah, man. I got some troubleshooting to do for, on this thing, man. But other than that, man, she pretty much ready to go. But um, let me do a little more dissecting, man, and uh, I get with you. Okay, gang, man, I'm still at it, man. Uh, tell you what, man, this is not for the novelist, man. So what I'm having to do, still can't get this motor to crank. So it turned over and everything, man, but it's just not firing up, man. So. What I wind up having to do, man, I'm having to go through and check this harness, man. And as you see, I'm checking out. I got my pin out. I'm checking out everything. As you see, I'm tagging. So I'm tagging everything, man. So, yeah, man. So I'm checking out these injectors. I'm basically going through on everything that they supposed to have did already and you know i got my, got my tape right there so yeah man so gang we gonna see man if we can get this thing started man i done found all my injectors ejector one three five and seven i got those so like like i said man none, none of this stuff tagged man so i'm actually going through through it my and my PCM connector, and I'm arming out my wires, making sure they're on the right pins. I um, look at um, the pin out on LT1 swap for the wiring and stuff. So, um, yeah, man. Hopefully, man, I'm trying to get some action today, man, but it's slow rolling, man. So, y'all just stick with your boy. What's up, game man? We back, man. It's been four months, four months in this build, man. But guess what, man? We got some action. Yes, sir. So, man, I'm finna show y'all my partner's tightest truck, man. Back there with the cover on. We're gonna take the cover off and uh, we're gonna crank up, man. Let's see how she sound, man. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, gang. So. As y'all know, man, this is my partner, Tyler, man. He ain't here today, but uh, I wanted to show y'all where we at on the 84 swap. LS swap. All right, man. As y'all see, man, she looking good, man. So right now, what I'm gonna do, what I gotta do to finish this off, man, I gotta loom up a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna clean up. He gotta get a bracket for his ECU. But man, everything is pretty much ready to go, man. So what we gonna do, man, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and crank up, let y'all see how she saw him, man. She is moving on her, on her own power, you know what I'm saying? Transmission, transmission working, transmission line, no leaks, no le fuel line, no leaks. Everything, man, is working as intended. We just gotta get the exhaust done, get the uh, O2 sensors, the O2 sensors hooked up. Cause right now it's running a little rich, uh, cause it ain't got the O2 sensors. But uh, this is a cold start, man. Cold start, man. Let's see what she do. Alright gang, cold start. Let the fuel pump start up.
swaps here. DIY with the wrist, man. So we got this swap done. Got this little bit more wiring to do. Uh, might do a video, man. I think he's gonna get Dizzle Dash. So we might do a video showing you how to do the Dizzle Dash on these, man. But, um, uh, man, that's a wrap, man, on the 84 C10, man. Y'all like, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, man. You know, man, hit the thumbs up, man, for your boy, man. Hit the thumbs up for your boy, like. And also, man, my favorite scripture for Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who's screaming me. We out here.